Hello guys, this is Derek from Nerdy Edge, and we're going to start a Minecraft Let's Play today. So, let's just uh, get the world started, and I'll explain to you a few things we're going to do in this series. Um, let's call it that. Um, let's go any LP, and we're good to go. <clears throat> so we'll go through some of the basics of the game, I guess, and... Um, some explanations of how some thir certain things work, and uh, then we'll get into building and redstone and all that fun stuff, the nether and all those other things. For people that don't play Minecraft, I guess the first thing you do is always open your inventory to grab that achievement and punch some wood, which whoops, <clears throat> which we're gonna do. Um, so the first first couple pieces of wood you get are gonna take a while, um, and as we upgrade to tools and things like that, these uh, these exercises are going to take a lot quicker, or are going to be a lot quicker. So let's just grab this tree worth of wood anyway, or most of it. So when you spawn, you spawn what's called the spawn chunks, which are usually 192 blocks by 192 blocks. Um, and each one of these squares you see is a block. So the spawn chunks are loaded at all times, um, no matter how far away you go from spawn. Um, and what that does is that it lets you build some certain types of farms and things like that that will stay loaded the whole time and um, will continuously run and produce their products. Um, so anyway, I, right there I made a crafting table, uh, four pieces of wood, and we're going to make some sticks, and we're going to make a pick, and we're going to do that, and we're going to punch down here and grab some cobblestone. So getting through the first day or night, um, it's pretty important to have some type of shelter for the first night or be in a cave if you get that far along or lucky enough to find that much supply of things. Um, it looks like we're going to be hurting for supplies. We are on an island, so that's not always the greatest spot to start. But we'll see how it goes here. We're going to get about 20 pieces of cobble. We need to make cobble tools of everything and uh, a furnace. And if we do find coal or iron or something like that, it'd be a pretty good benefit. So we'll probably move away from this island. What we'll do is I will uh, grab the coordinates of the island so that we can return and, and build any spawn spawn mechanic things that we want. So I guess one quick thing uh, we should talk about is a day-night cycle. And if you see the sun is constantly moving, you see getting closer to the cursor. It's probably easier to see there. Um, it will start in the east and will set in the west and the day is 10 minutes long and the night is 10 minutes long so a total 20 minute day yeah. break some some grass and grab some seeds let's just make our tools and get off this island we might grab those pigs for food all right so a pickaxe <clears throat> oops a wood axe and we want a shovel and then we're going to want uh, a hoe, and we're going to want a sword. And my intention is to keep these episodes pretty short, because uh, most Minecrafters you watch on YouTube are like 25 minutes to a half an hour. And I, I find that a little bit long. Lots of people don't have that much time to sit around and watch a video from start to finish. So I'm thinking 10 to 15 minutes max. Um, and kind of cover one full day and part of the night, depending on what we're doing. Just going to grab that. Now you see down here at the bottom of the screen, there's what's called a hot bar with all my items in it. I eventually will show you how, anyway, I like to sort those. Um, as well as there's the hearts, which is your health. And the little steak lamb chop looking things are your uh, hunger bar. So the more you run, the more you jump, the more active you are, uh, your hunger wears out quicker. So if I'm running around and, and jumping and, and doing things, so I'm, my, my hunger is going to go down. You can see there's already a, a one chop missing. So what we want to do is obviously eat to, to keep that up. And once you do get so far down, uh, you will start to take damage from hunger. So once your hunger runs out, you will start to uh, lose hearts. And that one I just took with sugar cane. We're going to want that later for some um, enchanting. So let's move over this way and kind of see what our what our set of islands is like here. We should be grabbing seeds as well on our way. 
Um, so E, again, like I said, opens up the inventory. There is a set of achievements, and uh, I will show you those. This is the achievement table, so each one of these are something that you can achieve in the game. Um, that's really all there is to say about that right now. So what I have right now is what's called F3 screen open, which is showing the coordinates. So we're at negative uh, 230, 82, we'll say is the spawn area. Uh, negative 230, 82. I'm just writing that down so we can get back there. Oops. <clears throat> so yeah. Um, what else do we got to talk about here? Um, so what we want to do is get a somewhat, boy, we don't have much room here. I think we're going to probably just live on this island for, although we killed all our food. So we're probably going to have to make a boat and travel, travel. Um, let's get, let's make a boat and let's get out of here because this is not going to be good. I'm going to make an extra one. Again, that was my crafting table there, and I just uh, put five five pieces of wood in a U-shape, which creates the boat. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is we're going to pick a direction. Um, let's just go west and see what we can see. I can see land in the distance. Um, there's more land there. What we want is a big, solid continent, something that um, is going to provide enough resources to survive. So, like I said, we have our spawn coordinates down, so if we ever wanted to build a, an iron farm or something like that, we could uh, we could nether portal to this. Um, and there's uh, travel mechanics with the nether that we'll get into in a later episode. But basically what we want to do is we want to establish some food, some coal. Um, it's a little early to build a house. I mean, typically if I'm playing on my own, I can build a house in the first five minutes of the game. But what, um, what I'd like to show you is an easy way to get you through that first day. And that is to dig a hidey hole, or what I call a hidey hole anyway. Uh, that is a water monument, and we're not going to go near that. We need to be brewing and enchanted before we even think about going inside one of those. <clears throat> but we're just going to carry on here in a somewhat westerly direction. So what happens here is the guardians will spawn once you reach a certain block distance away, and they actually shoot a laser beam at you. So that laser beam will... Um, inflict a lot of damage, especially where I have no ar armor or anything like that. So this looks like a promising island ahead. Potentially more land behind it. Maybe not. But um, definitely a very cool spot to go in the future. So that's great that we have one right here. And I don't want to travel very far from spawn. Um, usually the strongholds and the end portals are all within, you know, a thousand to fifteen hundred blocks of spawn. So it's nice to stay Kind of look at that another another temple right there. Let's um that doesn't look like it continues. That's two temples in the same screenshot. Look at that. Okay, let's go over to the sign. Unfortunately, this is pretty slow episode since I'm going to be traveling by boat. So I might make it about five minutes longer just to just to show you guys getting set up for the first evening. I think this is the island we're going to just do our do our hidey hole on until we can find a solid continent. Um, guess we're running out of time here. So anyway, those are squid. They're not really useful for anything but ink sacks. Ink sacks are good for making uh, book and quills and, and dyeing different uh, things. Black, wool in particular. <clears throat> and I think hardened clay too. So it's some uses for for them, but there's, there's not a whole lot. I typically don't uh, don't farm them or anything, but there are a lot of tutorials on YouTube for doing uh, farming of, of ink sacks and squid. They're a byproduct of a guardian farm, which is more, I find more useful, because then you can create some pretty cool blocks with the, the guardian temple stuff. So we're going to call this our hidey hole for night one. And, oh, look at that, we got iron. That's perfect. So we want to get enough here to get a furnace going. We don't have a bed, so that's unfortunate at this point. But let's, uh, let's just fix our entrance entrance up here. Whoops, wrong thing. I want to get that uh, dirt out. And bring that across like that. See, nothing can get in a one block hole, so we're safe. We can tell if it's daylight or not, and we will just basically um, throw a crafting table down here. Let's open this up just a little bit more. And I do sometimes not sleep the first night, even if I have wool, because I like to mine and get. Uh, Get some cobble and, and some tools together and do some crafting. 
and uh, just get prepared to journey. There's usually a you know journey around a thousand blocks away from spawn to, to build a base. Um, typically, I don't spawn somewhere where that I thoroughly enjoy. So let's let's throw the, that crafting table down again, and let's make ourselves a furnace, which is a cobble in a circle. And we can use wood or coal for that for fuel. I'm gonna throw what wood I've got in there. Um, actually, I should throw that in there. <clears throat> so we can make charcoal um, out of logs, and maybe I'm gonna go grab a few logs here. I'll show you how to do that if you don't have coal yet, which we don't have yet. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this tree, and this is an oak tree, and there is uh, I don't know, five or six different types of wood in the game. Birch there. Uh, I typically stay away from birch. I do not like using them for building material. Uh, my favorite is spruce, and we did grab a couple of spruce saplings, which is nice. And you can see the sun is starting to set. And there's another temple. Is that the same one? Can't be. I've never seen so many temples. There's the west setting. So let's go in here and let's block that off so we can be safe. All right, perfect. Um, so what we'll do is we'll throw that in there. <clears throat> Gonna eat. Now we'll replenish my hunger. And we'll keep getting this iron out of the wall because I think we got we got five anyway. And that'll be enough to give us an iron pickaxe, which is perfect. All right, guys, I think that's going to be episode one. And uh, I will be back in a day or two with another episode and show you guys how to start mining and start exploring a little bit more. Anyway, again, this is Derek with Nerdy Edge. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe below, and um, tell us what you think. Have a good night. Bye.